Okay, my dears, this is a quick update. As you can see, I have constructed an entire second version of the um, of the banyan. No, this is not the original cotton one that I've been showing you. This is this is brand new. Um, this one is made of old IKEA curtains, so I don't know what it is. Probably some cotton, um, possibly not entirely cotton. It's got some stretch in it that I can't really identify, uh, and I haven't burn tested it, but. Here's the problem I'm working on today. You can see that the arms fit on this garment slightly, slightly differently. Um, and it's very hard for me to uh, uh, judge, figure out which, how, what the heck is going on here. So this is the original set of the sleeve. You can see if you get really close that the sleeve seam matches up with the bottom of the shoulder seam, which is the way it's supposed to be. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of wrinkling going on in that upper arm. Now, <laughs> I cut these sleeves out wrong. I meant to put the upper arm on the bias and the lower arm on the straight grain, and instead I put the lower arm on the bias and the upper arm on the straight grain. So that might be affecting the fit a little bit, but I don't think it's having that much impact. So, But you can see that like, in order to get the wrinkles, if I just hang my arm by my side, in order to get the wrinkles to go away, my arm has to be like back here. And this is not a problem we mostly encounter in contemporary gar garments. There is some directionality to a, to a contemporary sleeve, a modern sleeve, but um, but this is, that's like weird, right? So what I decided was that I wanted to try rotating the sleeve forward. Well, how much forward? I decided to put the sleeve on, mark where it should match up on my shoulder, and then um, rotate it accordingly. So that's what I did here, is I actually, I, I like, moved it it's like i unhooked it from the from the body of the banyan and then rotated it and then attached it again so this is the result of that um you can see i'm still not sure that i've taken quite enough out of the upper arm because my elbow is here but when i bend my arm it's that bump is kind of in the right place so maybe it's okay i've never used this kind of sleeve before it's a two-part sleeve as you can see it's got a bend in it that's directional too um and that's part of what's causing this challenge so I reset it, um, and I you can see that it's it's got some awkward features now. The seam is here very, very prominently featured on the front of the sleeve, which is not a thing that I think anybody would want. Um, ideally, the seam will be down here where it belongs, um, but it's not down there. Um, and then the other thing that's that's happening though is that you can see that the, the wrinkling is is somewhat different. So, and as I'm looking at it in this, it's not quite as different as it was when I was looking in the mirror, but you can see that that moving things around um, has given me a slightly different drape on this sleeve than on this one. Uh, I'm not sure I've solved the problem, um, and I'm not sure exactly what the problem continues to be. The fit definitely changes when I pin the collar shut, um, and it depends how much how much overlap I put in. I am desperately trying, desperately trying to avoid actually cutting the collar out because I'm terrified of it. Um, but you can see that if I pull this over up top here and do not leave it unfastened, that I get, you know, a more normal amount of sleeve wrinkling. A little, little bit of wrinkling is to be expected unless I'm holding my arm at the angle that matches the sleeve. But it's a... It's a reasonable amount of wrinkling, as opposed to this situation, which is like all this, even just from hanging my arm at my side. Neither one is uncomfortable. I want to be clear, like I could leave the sleeve set like that and it's not terribly uncomfortable because it's fairly loose. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt under it now, but even with the 18th century shirt under it, it it's, it's fairly loose. But you can see how this wrinkling starts to happen really early. And I know that we're supposed to have like erect posture in the 18th century, but that doesn't solve this problem, right? That doesn't solve this idea that I'm sort of supposed to have my arms back here. So I think there's something, I borrowed these sleeves from a different pattern. They're not even the same pattern. So um, I think that I may have to go back and look at, if I really want this to be like, I may have to go back and look at other sleeve patterns. Um, I'm wondering if there are sleeves where the bottom part is actually narrower. This sleeve is, is um, is basically symmetrical. The, the top piece and the bottom piece are the same except for the sleeve head. 
And I wonder if there are sleeves where the bottom piece is actually narrower and the top piece is wider. Um, that would solve some of that problem. But in general, um, in general, you know, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting puzzle. I'm not sure that <coughs> I'm not sure that rotating the sleeve helps, but I'm not sure that it hurts. Um, it's just different. So here we are, sleeve shenanigans.